Good morning guys, what's going on? Dorian here on my way to work. I figured I'd do a quick video driving on the highway and give you a couple reasons on why I decided to get a Crown Vic. I've always wanted one, but I always went with the with the better options of the Toyota Camrys and the Honda Civics for the reliability and so forth. But now that I own this car, I don't think there's anything that beats it. Granted, I did just do a lot of work to fix it. I still think that they're pretty reliable. The engine's really solid on this thing. The transmission is what you would expect from a police department that owned it prior you know they're not gonna they're gonna do the maintenance on it but they're not gonna really care about the transmission this my crown vic is a 2006 and nice blinker my crown vic is a 2006 and the transmission was replaced or remanufactured by jasper in 2008 so they had the transmission for two years and they already had to replace it so from 2008 till 2016 the transmission was good until i got it and then i had to replace it now so which is okay because i did the j mod on it and the j mod's supposed to be really good for these cars i don't know how good it'll actually be because i just got it done and i'm not used to it but so far it feels really good it shifts really good it's just first to second sometimes it'll clunk into shifting into second gear but that's okay, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. When I go to do the, um, I want to get the trans, uh, trans fluid flushed in, a, in like a couple thousand miles, and we'll uh, see what it does then. But yeah, I want to give you a couple reasons why I got a Crown Vic. Um, first reason being is they're they're a boat of a car, and I like big cars. The Toyota Camry's not that big of a car, but I really enjoyed it for being bigger than like a Honda Civic so I really like the big big cars I like real wheel drive cars I used to have a BMW back in the day and it was real wheel drive and it was a blast to drive uh, they suck in the rain but whatever what are you gonna do I got winter tires on here so we do a little bit better in the rain not really but that's how I justify it um, yeah so I bought it because it's a boat of a car it's you get into an accident with these things and they don't they don't have those crumple zones or whatever they call it nowadays in the smaller like cars you know you got a you got a whole bunch of material around you to take the impact rather than those smaller cars uh, second reason why I bought the Crown Vic is because of how reliable I heard they were and how durable they are you know I'm I'm probably not the best driver but, you know, if I needed to hit a curb or I needed to hit a pothole or, or something like that, this car definitely feels like the car, feels like the car that would do that. You know, it definitely feels like it could take a, a good beating and so forth. And I've taken it off-road and it's taken the abuse of off-road, so I, I really enjoy this, this car as far as the durability goes. Yeah, the third reason I got the car, it's got a V8 in it. It's not the, it's not a four-cylinder like a Camry or a Civic. It's, it's got the V8. The BMW I had was the 540i, and it had the V, it had a V8 also. It was the 4.0. It wasn't a 4.6, but it was a good size V8, and it was very. Uh, when you needed the power, you had the power, which is, which is why I like this car too. When you need the power to up and go, at least you know that you have it there. You know, to give you some some power to either get in front of cars or to move away from a car that's going to hit the back of you. So, yeah, that's that's another reason why I got this car. Um, another reason is they were super cheap. I was looking on Craigslist. This car I got for two thousand dollars with one hundred and thirty thousand miles on it. And the condition, as you guys saw in my first video, is pretty good. It's it's not amazing, but it's not bad either. So, like I said, this was 2000. A lot of the Crown Vicks that I was seeing in my area, New Jersey, were like 2500 to 4500. And spending 4500 on a car like this, when you know 
certain things will go wrong with the intake manifold, like the transmission. It's just not, it's just not worth it. So for 2000 bucks, I took the gamble and got it and it's, it's been good ever since. And for the transmission 2000, I, I had the transmission rebuilt. I had a bunch of rear end work done to it. For that, for that kind of stuff to be done, for, for a little bit less than what I paid for it, I'm happy with it. Ultimately, I'm happy with it. Um, another reason why I got the push bar, I mean, another reason why I got the car is because I just love the look of these cars. There's, there's so many clubs out there. There's so many like pictures out there. Yesterday we saw Super Troopers in the movie theaters and all they had was Crown Vic. I just love the look of the Crown Vic. It's just, it's such a pretty looking car. You know, it's a nice boat. Even if I couldn't get the Crown Vic, I would have, or the Police Interceptor, I would have went with the regular Crown Vic, the LX, because they just look, they just look so good. They look so clean. There's, the the corners are nice and rounded. It's low to the ground. Well, kind of low to the ground. The steel wheels with the with the chrome uh, caps, for some reason to me, that that's a great look. You know, I really enjoy the the steely look. I don't, I've I've only had rims on my other cars and I only have hubcaps and the steel wheels with the hub uh, center caps look look really clean. Another reason why I got this car is because there's so much room in it. You there's no there's nothing to it. Literally, it's I put a radio in it. It's got basic controls basic lighting basic everything but there's there's so much like room like, to do stuff that like if you want there's so much modifications you can do to it like I did the radio it took two seconds no big deal um, the trunk is huge you know so I could fit both of my bicycles in the back of the trunk no problem at all came with a full-size spare which is beautiful and it's just uh, the vinyl seats you can't beat that it almost feels like leather but not quite but people that don't know better might think it's leather so it works gets the job done um, the carpet is not a carpet it's a rubber mat so that's pretty cool because in this during the snowstorms and stuff I was constantly getting salt all in my car and water all in the car and with this you just take a cloth and just dry it off no big deal so it's just so minimal uh, like oh yeah and I got a center console too I got it from an Explorer the car itself is just so minimal there's there's really nothing you know like if something breaks you're gonna find the part for it you're gonna find it which brings me to my next reason on why I got the Crown Vic if you if you need a part for these cars they made thousands and thousands and thousands of these cars you can find them at the junkyard anywhere Except for in New Jersey, because it's like impossible to find anything for this car in New Jersey. But from what I hear, you can find all the parts for these. You know, there's a lot of taxis that drive them. There's a lot of, you know, there's still a lot of uh, police departments that have them in stock. Or in service, I should say. So it's just, the parts are, are readily available. Uh, unfortunately for me, I bought a 2006. And it's like a one of year, like the 2005. But... You can still mix and match parts, you just have to know what you're doing to rig them together. But yeah, parts are readily available. And the only downfall I will say about this car is that the gas mileage is terrible. Which, I've been driving with overdrive off for the longest time. Now that I rebuilt the transmission, I don't have to drive with overdrive off. So it might be a little bit better. But the gas mileage is terrible on these cars. The tires are really hard to find for these cars. At least from what I've done in research, you're you're finding used tires, but they're not very good looking used tires. So you gotta, most of the time you gotta buy new, and the, the tires that they recommend for this car are the Eagle RSAs, and they're like close to $200 a tire. Right now I have winter tires on the back, and they're like, from brand new, they're like $300 a tire, which is ridiculous, which is why I just, for winter I just go back and forth with these tires so like now that winter is over I'm gonna be getting different tires and uh, 
comes winter again, I'll put these tires right back on. But yeah, that's, that's all I've seen so far. It's the gas mileage is crappy, and the uh, the tires are really hard to find. So I'm just about at work here. Uh, thanks for thanks for tuning in, guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you have a Crown Vic, let me know what your top reasons are for owning it, and let me know you know what you like about your Crown Vic. See you next time. See ya.